find the exact value of 1 over root 2 minus 1 over root 2 i to the power 100. So the first thing that I want to do is, this is in a rectangular form. I want to change this into polar form and then use Dimbar's theorem to find the exact value. So let me explain what does this mean. I want to plot, so this is a rectangular form, which is 1 over root 2 minus 1 over root 2 r. So what does that mean? So this is your real arm, and this is your imaginary arm. And say, um, this is say 1 over root 2. This is 1 over root 2, not drawn to scale, and say this is uh, minus 1 over root 2 i. So this point is referred as 1 half, 1 over root 2, minus 1 over root 2 i. So this is a vector. Okay. So, uh, so joining, so let me erase this. I, oops. I want to use a smaller eraser. Uh, so this is the real arm. And this is the point we're talking about. Okay. So let me draw a line and use simple Pythagoras theorem. So this is the vector. So let me use a vector, an arrow. Okay, so using Pythagoras. Okay, so let me make a right angle triangle. So basically it's a very simple idea. So this distance, so this is one over root two. This point on the real arm is one over root two. So this length is also one over root two. And the length here is also 1 over root 2. So this is, the, this is say if we call this z, suppose let us call this z, this is a complex number half minus 1 over root 2i. So this length is called modulus of z. So can we say, and this is the argument, so let, us, let me call this theta. So using Pythagoras, uh, theta, I hope you can understand this, 45 degrees, because both sides are equal. These two sides are equal, so these angles have to be equal. So this is 45 is pi by 4. And modulus of z, using Pythagoras, or the length of this vector, would be square root of 1, 1, okay, let me write it. I need more space, so can I write? using Pythagoras, modulus of z would be square root of 1 over root 2 the whole squared plus 1 over root 2 the whole squared, which is square root of half plus half. This is square root of, if you square 1 over root 2, you get a half plus half, which is square root of 1, which is 1. So this distance is 1, and this angle is minus pi by 4, because you are going clockwise. So by convention, if you are going clock, clockwise, this is negative pi by 4. So this complex number z can also be written as 1 cis pi by 4, negative pi by 4, raised to 100 because this is this is this complex number it is also written as this can also be written as 1 cis negative pi by 4 so this this is called the polar form where this number tells you the distance of this complex number from the origin o and this is the argument which is angle that it makes with the positive arm. So it's 45 degrees and as it's clockwise it's minus pi by 4. So using Dimbov's theorem I can say or uh, using Dimbov's theorem this is the same as uh, 1 to the power 100 cis uh, minus 100 pi over 4. Okay so this is this is 1 to the power 100 is 100 sorry, 1 to the power 100 is 1, cis 
minus 25 minus 25 pi. Okay, so minus 25 pi is going 24 rotations. Okay, one, you know one rotation, or one revolution or rotation is 2 pi, or one full circle is 2 pi. So uh, 12 rotations, sorry, 12 revolutions is 24 pi. It's 24 pi. Or, so this is uh, my 24 and a half rotation so this is the same as saying one cis minus pi and one cis minus pi is same as writing one cos one cos negative pi plus i sine negative pi okay so this is what is this is negative cos of negative angle is same as 1 cos pi 1 cos pi minus i sine pi okay and if you don't want to do this whole thing this means negative 1 okay but if you want to use a calculator this would be negative 1 so let me show this uh, let me check my settings so shift it should be in radians, yeah. So if you go uh, cos cos negative pi or cos pi, shift pi, pi plus or uh, plus, okay, let me cancel this, delete, minus option complex number, oops, so option complex number, i sine, uh, pi shift pi which is negative one so the exact answer is negative one so or if you think it in, in a different way how to write this answer one cis minus pi means you're going a radial distance of one and you're going an angle of minus pi so when you go at an angle of pi so that means basically what you're saying is say you this is a real and imaginary arm if you understand graphically, this is very simple. So, so let me draw this properly. So this is a real arm. So what we're saying is you first go to one, you go a radial distance of one, and then you go at an, for an angle of minus pi. For go an angle of negative pi. So where would you reach? You would reach negative one. And that's what the answer is. So minus one says minus pi is same as one cis pi, which would be negative.